559th Avenue is a four bedroom, two and a half bath Victorian home in the inner Richmond district that we listed for 1.599 million and sold for 2.216 million, more than $600,000 over the asking price. This was a trust sale that included a multitude of players, a trust attorney, the bank acting as the fiduciary, monitoring all money expended, a trustee who lived out of state, and five actively participating family members. There were a lot of little projects around the house that hadn't been finished, and there were a lot of little things that needed to be repaired or required attention before the home was ready to be put on the market. And like most trust sales, the owner's personal property was everywhere. So those items needed to be removed, but meticulously accounted for and their destination determined by the trustee and fiduciary. The home had a Tahoe-inspired A-frame style ceiling, which is nice, but the knotty pine yellow wood appearance is generally out of fashion with buyers today. We didn't paint the ceiling at the seller's request, and we were limited on the amount of other repairs we could get approved due to a limited budget. What really sold the home was the large room on the lower level. Because there were heat ducts, this was considered finished space, which comes at a premium over unfinished space. We decided to stage that room as finished living space, absent floor covering. The backyard was overgrown and unkept. Even the most optimistic buyer would have trouble visualizing the size of the yard. It was hidden under years of accumulated grass, weeds, and overgrowth. Cleaning up the yard, we discovered lumber and other building materials left over from construction a decade ago. In the end, a small investment into improving the home yielded us more than $600,000 over the asking price. The beneficiaries with the extra money they're inheriting from their estate were extremely happy. We even received a few compliments from the attorney and the professional fiduciary.